Good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna start what I wanna call a greenhouse series uh, to give you guys ideas of what we do in our greenhouse, how we grow the crops in our greenhouse to then transfer to our field. Uh, we already did a video on sanitizing seedling trays, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, might give you guys an insight on the proper way to do that for commercial growers and uh, home gardeners. Uh, today I want to show you all the steps from filling trays to the, the potting soil we use to how we seed our stuff, different ways of seeding trays, either on a really small scale or a commercial scale, and kind of just walk you through each of those steps quickly of how we do that. Uh, but first I'm going to start with the potting mix we use. So we use Pro Mix, which is a peat moss general purpose potting mix and it contains it's got peat moss it's got vermiculite it's got perlite it's got some wetting agents in it it has uh, some nutrient adjusters pH adjusters uh, which you can see right down here we'll give you a little bit of information there uh, the other cool thing about this specific pro mix is that it has biofungicide and mycorrhizae in it which the biofungicide helps with any disease uh, issues that we might see in the greenhouse. And then the mycorrhizae helps with actually root development. Um, this is probably the one of the most, more expensive potting soil mixes out there. But uh, I always say the greenhouse is where everything starts for a lot of our stuff. So we wanna make sure that everything is going properly at the beginning of our season and for what's going in the ground. Uh, so, let's start our day in the greenhouse. Hey guys, so we're in the greenhouse and we're ready to start filling trays. Uh, like I said, we have about over 100 to fill today, so we're going to try to hammer them all out at once so we can seed after we've got them all filled. So. What we do, we start with our cell tray. This is a 128 cell tray, meaning it has 128 cells in it. We have different trays. Over here, this is a 72 cell, so there's 72 cells in this. This clearly has bigger cells than this. So this takes a little more soil than this one. But, so what we do is we take our sanitized tray like we showed you before. Uh, we have, if you can see over here, we have our mound of soil. So what we do is this soil, like I showed you uh, previously, comes in big blocks. They're 3.8 cubic blocks of compressed potting mix. And so when you open those up, this soil is like clogged and compressed and chunky and doesn't come out very well. So what we do, and I will show you, is we take one of these, which is like a screener, and we run all the potting mix through this. We'll dump it all in, we'll push it through and put it into another container. So it's nice, fluffy and soft. Uh, chunks are broken up um, because big chunks won't fit into these small holes. And we want a nice fluffy uh, bed of soil that we can stick in here. So. What we do, we fill trays one by one. Other farms might do them like on a pallet where they're doing 10 at once. Uh, I like doing it one at a time because I know I'm gonna have a nice even uh, tray every time we go to seed. Also working up on a table is just better for my back and everything. So um, some of the tools we use is a brush, uh, which I'll show you to brush some of the soil off. And then we have this stick that we help push any excess soil off if needed or pull soil onto the tray. Not rocket science, really easy tools to use. So what we'll do is we'll start with the tray. I usually push it up against the mound of potting soil and then you just push it over the tray like so. And I usually just take my hand and I lightly press over, you know, smooth over the tray first. Um, the stick is more for more the stick is for more finished looks or surfaces if you need. Um, then if you look at this tray, there's all this soil on the side and some trays are different, but what I do is I take my hand and I pull all the soil off the edge of the tray. 
you may or may want to do that before this next step. Uh, but we, what we do on this farm is we like to brush the top layer of the soil off, leaving probably a little over a quarter inch open on the top for the seed to go. Um, other farms will take, you know, their trays and they'll put it down and they'll press it in to, to give it that space in between. We like to keep a fluffy layer with our soil. That way they pull out of the, the cell trays a lot easier uh, when coming to plant. So what we do next is we take our handy dandy brush and we just brush the surface of each tray lightly. Probably go over it a good two times. And then I'll pull the soil off it quick. And then what I'll do is I'll just give it a quick quick drop so any of the soil kind of settles down in it does compress it a little bit but if you were to feel it it's still pretty soft so uh, you know we want to look if there's any whole cells that might have not gotten filled all the way you want a pretty even surface all the way through so what we do with this tray next is we'll put it on the table behind us and we'll line up I don't know 30 to 50 at a whack uh, and then when we're ready to plant uh, we'll water these. We'll water these in that way the soil underneath uh, gets moisture on it so you have the seed to soil contact. Right now we're not going to do that. Right now because we have to fill over a hundred of these we're just going to put them behind us in stacks for now. Uh, Crisscrossed which I can show you that way nothing's going to press into the actual tray. And then when we're ready to seed all these we'll lay them out again and we'll water them and give them a go. So that's how we fill a tray. That will happen the same way with the 72 cells. Uh, we have 200 cells. This is the most efficient way for us to do it. Uh, they have machinery out there that you can buy to actually fill trays, which you know definitely increases your efficiency uh, if you're working on a large scale. Um, for home gardeners, you know this is probably your best place to do it. You know, go out in your garage or you know side of your house, set up a quick table. And you don't even need that. Another another cool tool that we use is grain scoops. Um, be able to scoop soil and drop it in. When we're wetting this soil for transplants, which I'll talk talk about in another video, uh, we like to use the scoop to kind of incorporate and mix it around. So these are all simple things that you can buy at a garden store at I don't know, on Amazon, at Walmart, um, which really are simple things, but they make your life a lot more efficient. So we got one done, 99 more to go.